the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya and the President of the Supreme Court of Kenya, uh, the Court of Appeal President, Justice William Ouko, our presiding judge, Justice Terry Kogola, the Honorable Judges of the High Court, Employment and Labor Relations, Courts and Environment and Land Courts, the Honorable Registrar of the Judiciary, Honorable Anna Madi, the Honorable the Chief Magistrate, Evans Makori, and all the magistrates present. Members of the Law Society, my fellow colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me much pleasure and I feel privileged to have been given this opportunity to make this address on behalf of the judiciary staff at Mombasa Law Courts. Your Lordship, during your tenure as Mombasa Court, have enjoyed cordial relationship with headquarters. Your Lordship, you extended to us the cooperation and assistance that enable us to deliver on our mandate to the members of the public. We were well provided for in terms of staff and other logistics. You were a father to us and how we wish you could stay on a bit longer. Welfare. During your tour of duty, you took good care of us staff, you, good, you took good care of staff welfare. We all know that COVID-19 pandemic caused a lot of loss and suffering in the country and Mombasa was not spared. When you realized that we were going to be affected, you ordered the closure of the courts so that we could work from home. This order was complied with and service delivery went on smoothly. Although we were still badly hit by the pandemic, the situation could have been worse had you not taken the timely action, Your Lordship. Your wise leadership saved lives of staff at Mombasa and of course other courts which were similarly affected. We thank you so much for this from the bottom of our heart. Under your leadership, Your Lordship, you introduced virtual hearing in this country, in, in judiciary for the first time. I need not to talk much about this, because this is the province of the Law Society of Kenya and other judiciary staff, judicial officers. But on our part as judiciary staff, we have found this to be innovative, exciting, and something we never imagined before you came to the office. Personally, in my 24 years in judiciary, I had never imagined this could happen. We thank you for this as well. And I am sure even the other stakeholders in the, just, in the justice system are happy with this reform. I cannot count all the goods you have done. As the lawyers may say, res ipsa loquito. <laughs> end by saying that as you proceed on your retirement, you should go with your shoulders high, your lordship, knowing that you did your very best to the judiciary and this beloved country, Kenya. You made bold and unprecedented judicial decision and you never shied away from discharging your duties to the country and to the, and to the judiciary and to the country as per the constitution of Kenya. And you never disappointed when duty called. Your Lordship, Honorable Maraga, indeed history will judge you kindly. And for us who are remaining behind, we shall always remember you and hold you in high esteem. Please call on us whenever you are in Mombasa to say hi and see your programs being implemented. One of them right behind me. Your Lordship, and for the person who will be lucky enough to be appointed as the Chief Justice, we wish 
him or her well. And we do hope that he or she will again better our salaries and other terms of employment. <laughs> On behalf of my colleagues and myself, I take this opportunity to wish you a very satisfying and rewarding retirement. We wish you good health and a long life. We are all aware that you are a very prayerful person. We pray that God will lead you in your entire future endeavor during retirement. And lastly, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 2021. Thank you all for listening. My name is Christina Cheno Kanyangi, Mrs. MBA, Post Administrator, Mombasa. Thank you.